Our government will implement following three schemes for employment-linked incentive as part of the Prime Minister's package. These will be based on enrollment in the EPFO and focus on recognition of first-time employees and support to employees and employers. Scheme A, first-timers. This scheme will provide one month wage to all persons newly entering the workforce in all formal sectors. Direct benefit transfer of one month salary in three installments to first time employees as registered in the EPFO will be up to 15,000 rupees. The eligibility limit will be a salary of 1 lakh per month. The scheme is expected to benefit 210 lakh youths. Scheme B, job creation in manufacturing. This scheme will incentivize additional employment in the manufacturing sector linked to the employment of first-time employees. An incentive will be provided at specified scale directly both to the employee and the employer with respect to the EPFO contribution in the first four years of employment. The scheme is expected to benefit 30 lakh youth entering employment and their employers. Scheme C, support to employers. This employer-focused scheme will cover additional employment in all sectors. All additional employment within a salary of 1 lakh rupee per month will be counted. The government will reimburse to employers up to 3,000 rupees per month for two years towards the EPFO contribution for each additional employee. The scheme is expected to incentivize additional employment of 50 lakh persons. Participation of women in the workforce. We will facilitate higher participation of women in the workforce through setting up of working women hostels in collaboration with industry and establishing creches. In addition, the partnership will seek to organize women-specific skilling programs and promotion of market access for women SHG enterprises. Skilling program. I'm happy to announce a new centrally sponsored scheme as the fourth scheme under the Prime Minister's package for skilling and collaboration with state governments and industry. 20 lakh youth will be skilled over a five-year period. <laughs> 1,000 industrial training institutes will be upgraded in hub and spoke arrangements with outcome orientation. Course content and design will be aligned to the skill needs of industry and new courses will be introduced for emerging needs. Skilling loans. The model skill loan scheme will be revised to facilitate loans up to 7.5 lakh rupees with a guarantee from a government promoted fund. This measure is expected to help 25,000 students every year. <laughs> Education loans. For helping our youth who have not been eligible for any benefit under government schemes and policies, I am happy to announce a financial support for loans up to 10 lakh rupees for higher education in domestic institutions. E-voucher 
vouchers for this purpose e vouchers for this purpose will be given directly to 1 lakh students every year for annual interest subvention of 3% of the loan amount priority 3 inclusive human resource development and social justice saturation approach our government is committed to all round all pervasive and all inclusive development of people particularly farmers youth women and the poor for achieving social justice comprehensively the saturation approach of covering all eligible people through various programs including those for education and health will be adopted to empower them by improving their capabilities implementation of schemes meant for supporting economic activities by craftsmen artisans self help groups scheduled caste scheduled tribe and women entrepreneurs and street vendors such as the pm vishwakarma pm swanidhi national livelihood missions and stand up india will be stepped up purvodya the states in the eastern part of the country are rich in endowments and have strong cultural traditions we will formulate a plan purvodya for all round for the all round development of the eastern region of the country covering bihar jharkhand west bengal odisha and andhra pradesh this will cover human resource development infrastructure and generation of economic opportunities to make the region an engine to attain vikasit bharat on the amritsar kolkata industrial corridor we will support development of an industrial node at gaya this corridor will catalyze industrial development of the eastern region the industrial node at gaya will also be a good model for developing our ancient centers of cultural importance into future centers of modern economy this model shall showcase vikas b virasat b in a growth trajectory we will also support development of road connectivity projects namely one patna purnia expressway two baksar bagalpur expressway three bodh gaya rajgir vaishali and darbanga spurs and four additional two lane bridge over river ganga at baksar at a total cost of 26000 crore rupees power projects including setting up of a new 2400 megawatt power plant are at peer painty will be taken up at a cost of 21400 crore rupees new airports medical colleges and sports infrastructure in bihar will be constructed an additional allocation to support capital investments will be provided the requests of bihar government for external assistance from multilateral development banks will be expedited andhra pradesh reorganization act our government has made concerted efforts to fulfill the commitments in andhra pradesh reorganization act Reo recognizing recognizing the state's need for the capital recognizing us recognizing the state's need for a capital we will facilitate fi special financial support through multilateral development agencies in the current financial year 
15,000 crore rupees will be arranged with additional amounts in future years. Our government is fully committed to financing and early completion of the Polavaram Irrigation Project, which is the lifeline the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh and its farmers. This will facilitate our country's food security as well. Under the Act, under the Act, Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, for promoting industrial development, funds will be provided for essential infrastructure such as water, power, railways, and roads in Koparthi Nord on the Vishagapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor and Varavakal Nord on the Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor. An additional allocation will be provided this year towards capital investment for economic growth. Grants for backward regions of Rayalaseema. Prakasham, North Coastal Andhra, as stated in the Act, will be provided. PM Awas Yojana. Three crore additional houses under the PM Awas Yojana in rural and urban areas in the country will have been announced for which the necessary allocations are being made. Women-led development. For promoting women-led development, the budget carries an allocation of more than 3 lakh crore for schemes benefiting women and girls. The signals, this signals our government's commitment for enhancing women's role in economic development. Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan For improving the socio-economic condition of tribal communities, we will launch the Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan by adopting saturation coverage for tribal families in tribal majority villages and aspirational districts. This will cover 63,000 villages benefiting 5 crore tribal people. Bank branches in northeastern region. More than 100 branches of India Post Payment Bank will be set up in the northeast region to expand the banking services. This year, I have made a provision of 2.66 lakh crore rupees for rural development, including rural infrastructure. Priority four, manufacturing and services, support for promotion of MSMEs. This budget provides special attention to MSMEs and manufacturing, particularly labor-intensive manufacturing. We have formulated a package covering financing, regulatory changes, and technology support for MSMEs to help them grow and also compete globally, as mentioned in the interim budget. I'm happy to announce the following specific measures. Credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs in the manufacturing sector. For facilitating term loans to MSMEs for purchase of machinery and equipment without collateral or third-party guarantee, a credit guarantee scheme will be introduced. The scheme will operate on pooling of credit risks of such 